Hi, Linda King here, and today I'm going to show you how I did my straw blown heart. So, if I can get my glove on here. Um, in the interest of time, again, I have already poured my background, and as you can see, I have dropped alternating colors of the whatever colors I want for my heart. I always have a hard time making my heart. This right hand side always gets weird for some reason. That's the hardest part of this whole thing is actually making the heart with the, dri the drips. So today I'm using Van Dyke Brown. Hope you can see this. And it's about this consistency. It's pretty thin. And magenta. And again, it's like so. And neither of those colors have any silicone. All I did was mix Floetrol and paint. So here is my white background. It's really pretty thin to keep the paint moving around. So you can experiment with um, thicker paints and see what you get. It depends on how the colors interact and how the thickness of the paint interact as far as what you get. So if I can find my straw here, we'll get going. Okay. So again, I have all my colors down and alternating magenta brown, magenta brown. And then all I really do is blow in kind of a circular pattern to initially get the shape. Oh, you could leave it like that. That looks kind of neat. But the colors tend to sink into the white a little bit. So I actually really like to have those kind of lacy edges. And so then I just go on to fool around until I can get what I want. I'm going to come back to this side. But this actually looks kind of neat all on its own. Let me turn it so you can see it. But now I'm just going to blow and try to make those edges that I like. So I blow outward into the paint, into the white, and then you start to get some little cells. So I have to blow it a little bit harder to get this effect. Just be really careful that you don't blow too hard because it will spray out and get into your negative space and then it'll kind of wreck your picture. And it's a little bit of a challenge to not overblow. So I keep my straw pretty much straight down. Mm -hmm. 
Oops, see what I just did? And sometimes those oversprays can actually be kind of interesting if they're not too big. So I'm going to leave it and see if I like it. Otherwise, I'll clean it up. So I'm not going to go much further than that <clears throat> so that my video doesn't get too long. But you can see kind of now how I do, do this. The, I circular pattern the outside, then I blow the edges to get kind of that lacy pattern. And you can just fool around with it and see what you come up with. You might have a different technique that will turn into something entirely different. So thank you for watching my video and um, I hope you have a good day. Hope you have success.